This grain silo in Sulaymaniyah has been a landmark in the city for over 35 years. Built by Soviet contractors, it was 95% complete before it was abandoned due to the Iran-Iraq war. We did this sample. Now, developer Hiwa Raouf wants to use the site to build a shopping mall, residential apartments, commercial offices and a hotel. The silos were significantly over-engineered, posing a challenge for demolition teams. Total 17 holes. Turkish company EGE Nitro were chosen to bring the silos down. First, the base of the silos were cut to ensure they fell in the right direction. A mix of carpet and wire mesh was added to reduce the risk of flying debris during the demolition. Over 1,100 kilograms of explosives were added to the columns supporting the tower and silos. The layout of the demolition charges was computer modelled by ASI in the United States to take into account the strength of the building. The use of explosives for a planned demolition such as this is a first for Iraq. <laughs> Thousands of Sulaymaniyah's residents turned out to witness the event, posing a challenge for civil defence trying to clear the area. As the moment nears, many months of hard work are about to be realised. Rabaz Ralph sets the charges off. Civil defence helicopters are quickly on the scene, dropping water to dampen the dust cloud. They are then joined by fire brigade units on the ground. For the developers, the task of clearing the site for the new downtown Sulaymaniyah project now begins. <laughs> کاریگری دنگل هوايا لرین لجر ارزا زور لوا کم تربو که لا پلانه که ده هبو Much of the concrete and steel in the silos will be recycled to be used in the new project. <laughs> 